Elon Musk is a white supremacist. How many, how many times, how many breadcrumb trails, how many things is he going to do to just like, before we're like, yeah, he's a Nazi. He's definitely, you know, like what, what does he need to do to prove to us that he very much believes that like the media and corporations, except for him are run by a cabal of, you know, uh, Jewish, like evildoers, like Soros paid Jews and his friends. Uh, and uh, they, you know, orchestrated Black Lives Matter and all yada, yada, yada. But, but let's stick with the anti-Semitic stuff because that seems to be his flavor. And that's the thing that he likes. And lately he's decided that the in massive flop of the takeover of X vomits a little in mouth. Um, that the fact that it's failing is not because nobody wants to be on a platform where uh, there are rabid anti-Semites, misogynist, a-holes, weirdo conspiracy theorists, uh, and that like gay people and women and people of color have basically fled the site to like, I don't know, TikTok or anything that's semi less heinous. Um, and that, you know, uh, the blue check marks were one of the more like interesting parts of it because you could see who was actually even stupidly but semi anointed by society to have an opinion about fucking anything. And I say this as a former blue check haver, which, you know, I don't tweet that much. I don't have that much to say on Twitter, but I at least like to know who maybe like has a credential. I don't know. Um, got rid of that, made it not fun at all. It's none of that. It's not that he's limiting our tweets. It's not that he's screwing with the entire algorithm. What else has happened that we've hated? It's not all that. Why don't we just now blame the Jews? Hell yeah. Let's just tap that rail. Why not? So his latest thing is getting mad at the Anti-Defamation League, the ADL. And so over the weekend, he freaked out about how we have to hashtag ban the ADL. And then all the Nazis were like, yeah, we should ban the ADL. Now, as a progressive, as someone who stands with Palestinian human rights, let's be real about the ADL. They have consistently conflated criticism of Israel with criticism of Jews and being anti-Semitic generally, which, as we all know, is not the same thing at all. And anyone who says it is and conflates it is probably an anti-Semite, as evidenced by the fact, interesting fact, that Elon Musk then later this week, just today, tweeted about a documentary that sort of like has like a, a critical look of the of, I think, one of the ADL members, but specifically through the lens of like, like rabid pro-Israel policies that have no room for Palestinian human rights or discussion of the occupation or anything. And he tweets like, hmm, interesting. It's like, no, bro, you like it because it's critical, because you just hate Jews. That's actual anti-Semitism. But anyway, uh, so he, of course, this has been fun. He's uh, he's decided that actually it's the ADL and them basically calling out the fact that there are now Nazis just completely running amok on this platform. And so he's now saying to clear up our platform's name on the matter of anti-Semitism, it looks like we have no choice but to file a defamation lawsuit against the Anti-Defamation League. Oh, the irony. Mm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Um, and the best part about that lawsuit is that one, it's never going to happen. And two, as proof, all the ADL has to do this to say that this is an unsafe platform that should not be a go-to for advertisers, which is what he's mad about. If I buried that lead, he's mad about the ad revenue. All they have to do is look at the replies and everyone being like, yeah, triple parens Jew. Like, it's just, it's really bad there, guys. It's, re it's like 4chan bad. And especially if you're Jewish or you have a Jewish last name. It's incredibly awful. You can't tweet anything without anyone being like, oh, you would like Renaissance, the Renaissance tour, Jew. What the fuck? Like, that's literally, that's what it is now. So anyway, um, this is, here's what's annoying to me. The last thing I'm going to say is that <sighs> somehow the two issues, the issues that like, 
even Jews stand with, which is Palestinian human rights, somehow criticizing Israel gets conflated with broad white supremacist anti-Semitism, the likes of Elon Musk, right? The likes of Alex Jones, the likes of uh, Nick Fuentes, Yiannopoulos, I don't know, name them all, Donald Trump, the, the likes of the toppling of Jewish headstones at cem Jewish cemeteries, the, the, um, the 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 tree of life massacre like all of these things gets put on an even playing field and you're like i mean i f we feel crazy at the end of the day right it's it's insane that we don't that the bigger enemy is so clearly white supremacy um and yet the left and progressives are the one who, who ones who get called anti-semitic and a fucking billionaire nazi is allowed to take over one of the biggest social media platforms there is Okay. No, no, no. That's cool. He just has like a massive platform now, but that's fine. I mean, it's the same thing with Donald Trump. Heaven forbid uh, for a socialist get into the White House. Heaven forbid. Um, we much rather have fascism. So much safer. Good for business. I mean, at least there's clicks, there's eyeballs. So this is the one instance or, you know, one of the instances where I definitely stand with the ADL and I just, I'm just like, I, I don't even know how Elon gets away with all this shit. And mind you, I haven't even dug into the Ronan Farrow article. I know this is wrong of me, but it's just like, it's almost, it's just, it's kind of like, you don't, it's the thing you don't want to look under the hood of. And it seems that the reality and the takeaway of the Ronan Farrow article is that Elon Musk is far more powerful than just owning one of the biggest platform, social media platforms there is, although small in comparison to the others. It's that he actually has a lot of cachet within the government. He gets a lot of subsidies through SpaceX and Tesla and whatnot. Um, and he is, f again, far more powerful and has been treated like an official, a diplomat, a part of the government. This is what we do, people. This is what happens. When, you know, when we can't have anything nice in this country, we get Elon Musk. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.